Bye. Who Stephen is, is he's a lawyer who won a big judgment in an Ecuadorian court against uh, Chevron, $9.8 billion, because it's actually Texaco and, and, and she- it's now Chevron, but it's just a change of name. Chevron bought the assets, whatever. And so, you know, like a couple of decades ago, Texaco was down in Ecuador drill and, you know, producing oil in the Amazon and they, they were just horrible no no concern for the environment whatever massive oil spills possibly they have been they were accused of like poisoning the uh, native you know in, the, the native people accused of poisoning their water and so because this guy this lawyer won this huge multi-billion dollar judgment against chevron they have been going after him and they they've you know chevron wants to ruin his life so what they did, they've done is they managed to get him charged uh, with conspiracy and a, I, a lot of money has been paid to ruin this man's life. And they, they got, I, Jeremy Hammond is a um, hacker who was sent to federal prison some years ago for uh, hacking into something. And a particular judge was appointed to uh, make sure that that happened. That and so the same judge, she's a woman, I forget her name, was put in charge of this guy to you know ruin his life. And Chevron also managed to. Uh, there's some legal things here where they managed to hire their own prosecutor, and so S- Stephen was was charged and. He's in the news because middle of last month, the, the trial concluded, and you know I, I put it uh, the charging the front page of the charging paper here, and he you know he's been under house arrest for almost two years, and he did not testify in his own trial. He refused to testify at the end because of, he said I won't participate in the sham. It's a foregone conclusion. He's going to be found guilty. One of the things that will be found that will happen when he's found guilty of this trumped up charge is um, of this, you know, criminal contempt is that will nullify the judgment in terms in the eyes of American courts. And then Chevron won't have to pay the $9.8 billion that they should have to pay, you know, to compensate for the damage they caused. So there, there's there's a huge uh, financial incentive to ruin Steve Donzinger's life. So here we are, you know, in a country that basically Chevron is, has been buying justice and going after this guy who's, you know, uh, it, it, what can I say? We're supposed to be concerned about the environment. We're concerned of, supposed to be concerned about the rule of law. And this stuff goes on. And you try to do a search for Stephen Donzinger in the news, and there's hardly anything. I, I found something in The Intercept. I found something in The Guardian. And the New York Times, which the New York Times is is doing Chevron's job. No surprise there. You know, New York Times is, you know, that's the best news that money can buy. So it's no, no, uh, that would be exactly the place where you would go to get Chevron's side of the story. And, and you can. Uh, I didn't go there. I'm not a subscriber and they've got their paywall set up.